Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Pittsburgh Blood and Peters. In this episode, we're at our local pond once again, going for carp. They are done spawning now, so they are going to be feeding up really badly. So hopefully we can get some nice carp on. So let's go ahead and use this pack bait that I've been using. And if you want to learn how to make that pack bait, I'll leave a card up in the corner for you guys to how to make that pack bait. It is an awesome pack bait. It works excellent for carp in ponds, lakes, rivers. It is an excellent bait to use. So let's get on these fish. And hopefully we have some nice fish for you guys in this episode. Let's get them. If you're your first time tuning into this channel, glad to have you. And if you want to learn, get plugged to catch it. Consider subscribing and clicking that bell so you will be notified every time we upload a new video every week. Hey guys, fish on. Fish on guys, fish on. Woo boy. Oh, this wind. Brutal today. Man, my fly line out there still. The pollen just blew right in my eyeballs. Oh, that sucks. Ooh, he's icy. Oh, I gotta loosen up that drag a little bit. He's fighting hard. Might be a channel cat or it could be a carp. Because this works for catfish and carp, his pack bait. Very simple pack bait. Panko breadcrumbs. Strawberry jello. And just a couple cans of corn, and that's it, and you're good to go, baby. Oh man, he, he feels like he's got some serious weight on him. This one's got some serious weight on him. For sure, this one definitely just got some serious weight on him. Well, this is a little lighter rod. This is just a medium, not medium heavy. This is a medium. I usually use mediums. This is a medium. I use medium heavies. Uh, um which i'm gonna call it uh ugly stick gx2s but this one's just yeah it's just a good size carp like i said guys they just got done spawning so they're gonna be they're gonna be fattening themselves up a lot they're gonna be hungry after spawning and everything like that Whoo! he's got some weight on him perfect hook set right in the bottom, right on the side lip and I was doing a little experiment here. I'm going to see which ones I get more, more, which one gets the most fish. This one, I just took the fake corn and stuck it right on the hook and not used the hair rig. The other one, I'm actually physically using the hair rig. So I have my fake corn on the hair rig. So we're going to see, by the end of the day, see which one catches more. There you go, guys. Nice little carp. Feisty little guys in this pond, man. They fight like a champ. Let's go ahead and release this guy and put him back in the water. Okay, buddy. Get back in the water. Beautiful. Beautiful release. Sweet. Ooh, feels a good size one again. Right on the light rod again. Medium rod. They like this medium rod for some reason. All right, I think this is the one with the uh, corn just right on the hook, not even using the hair rig. So that's two foot so far on this rod and one on the other one with this using the hair rig. The way this one's fighting, it kind of feels like a channel cat maybe, the way it's doing head shakes. I could be wrong. And that's what I like about those uh, bank sinkers, guys. I just rode right over top of my other two rods. Demon, demon grab them. Demon grab them at all. That's why I like about using those bank stickers. You can just ride right over top of your other rods. You wouldn't even phase it. You wouldn't even tangle up your other lines. That's why I like using them. Another carp. Another carp. Ooh, good size. Come here, little guy. There you go, guy. Where are you going, huh? Where are you going, huh? Come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Calm down. If you come here, I'll get you on hold. Woo, you didn't like that net, did you? <laughs> okay, buddy, chill out. Cover up their eyes, it calms them down. That's another one on the uh, corn on the hook. And I'm using fake corn, so. 
it's a uh, slightly buoyant on it but the hook's going to hold it down to the bottom but yep that's that's two fish on that rig and one on the other one let's go ahead and get the release guys look at that beautiful release probably not gonna stay much longer probably gonna call it soon as you can see i am freaking burnt to a crisp bring into a lobster out here but i had fun though i'm having fun getting low on bait too getting low on bait Bait's getting low. It's just about to call it. And say, time to go home. If you got allergies, okay? If you got allergies, guys, what I gotta say is do not come to this pond if you got allergies. You got allergies? Don't come to this pond. There you go, guys. Look at that. This pony this year is insane. Look at that. It's it's freaking nuts. <laughs> if you guys got allergies, I wouldn't come to this pond with this much pollen. This pollen is in Woo! God dang. Alright guys. Third one on the uh rig with just a uh, piece of corn fake corn on the hook. This is the third one on this rod. So that's three so far that they hit on the fake piece of corn that's sitting right on the hook. And that's probably sitting right on the bottom of the, of the pond here. So that means they're feeding off the bottom. They're not feeding off of any baits that are suspended. I mean, they, they hit the other one. Um think twice or once or once I think but this is already three on this one rod alone today so he's a feisty Ooh, he doesn't want to give up does he Ooh, nice little run there giving a nice little run got some strain on that line Serious strain. Ooh, icy fish. Come on, if you come in a little closer. I could get you unhooked, and then I can net you, buddy. And I get you unhooked. Oops, missed him. There we go. Thank you, guys. Another one on the uh, fake corn on the hook rig. Hopefully this explains to everybody what, how this experiment's working so far. Two on that one, I think three on this one. Go ahead and get the release. Nice release guys. Beautiful fish. Alright guys, well I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off here and like I said I had an awesome time at the pond. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And as always guys, happy fishing and tight lines. See you guys next week. Oh man, I got a freaking fingerprint on my lens. Hopefully it turned out okay.